Monty. Um, did anybody remember to wake Monty up? Monty Lamazzi. Oh, look, he's making a grand entrance. This is not Rockefeller Center and the opening of the Tonight Show. This is the Bing. Yes, and in coming in for a landing. Here I am. So we're not on the set of The Hunger Games. Aww. And I was promised a chocolate delivery. Uh, but no maybe chocolate. that's in my future later. Ladies and gentlemen, Monty Lamazzi. Howdy. <clears throat> I'm a pilot. I remote pilot aircraft like this. What I and other pilots like me are doing right now is changing your future. Many of you remember the glory days of NASCAR. We had the great drivers of history battling it out on the courses with cars they built in their garage. Their desire to be the fastest on the track created a demand for parts that were lighter and stronger. Their lessons on those tracks create, <laughs> those lessons, the lessons that they learned on those tracks taught them to be smarter and safer. This is happening with remote piloted vehicles and drones of all types. Every month, I organize races where pilots like me and others battle it out on intense courses at speeds over 80 miles per hour. We, spill, we build our aircraft at home in our garages. Our parts come from all over the world. We spend endless hours on assembly, soldering, programming, testing, and tuning. It's in this process that we're changing your world. Like the NASCAR greats, and really any competitive racer, we want to be the fastest possible. The big difference today is our access to the internet, which allows us to share knowledge and expertise while also helping in the creation of rapidly new, developing new products. Our open wallets fuel FPV racing innovation at hyperspeed. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, pilot, not a talker. <laughs> um, so, like I said, at hyperspeed. But our demand for motors that are lighter yet more powerful doesn't only mean that we'll be faster at the next race, but when Amazon builds its next drone to make home deliveries, it can carry twice as much, and you will get that item that you ordered in half the time. As performance and capabilities increase, you're going to see many, many new incredible systems. Fire departments are already remote piloting aircraft over fires to identify hot spots without endangering crews. And they are currently designing a first responder system designed to reach heart attack victims within the golden minute, where seconds literally mean the difference between life and death. These will be dispatched to your location using, with uh, basic medical supplies, an automatic defibrillator, and a direct link to medical professionals. These systems will save many lives. And my need for better, faster, and more accurate flight control electronics could mean when you call 911, an operator will have the option of sending a drone to you. Using the phone you are calling on from loca for a location, an incredible speed, it could mean the difference between life and death for victims, where every minute that passes, their survivability drops dramatically. Drones will be an integral part of our lives. They will make some things easier. They may even save your life one day. But the message is, we need to embrace this technology not fear it. They will be an integral part of our lives. And talker, yeah. <laughs> they will be integral, I mean, they will be an integral part of our lives. There is no question about that. But the technology around you now is creating a future where drones will be a part of your life. They may save your life one day. Yeah. I mean, really, this is our first-person view of the future. <laughs> Thank you.